Hey, my friends from Total Trending Magazine. Today we are with an amazing director who always brings us amazing stories, documentary filmmakings about social, political, and cultural issues. Because just a small part of the population doesn't want to hear, but a lot of people want to know the truth. Today he brings us an amazing documentary, The Sentence. Today, Cruz de Valdez. 2008, your sister was sentenced for a crime that they should have commit, right? Hello. From a federal prison. Here. Hello, Mom. I love you, princess. And do you know why Mom is there? No, she did commit the crime. She did that's, commit. That's the big thing with this film is it's it's not a film about guilt or innocence. The kids that lived with her were doing bad things, and that's why she's there because she was actually with those kids. You know, it's about the sentence. You know, by the letter of the law, she committed the crime in the sense that. The law that she broke was that she didn't go to the police when she was knowledgeable about a crime that was happening. So basically, I lived in the home. I didn't sell these drugs. I didn't buy these drugs. I'm the girlfriend. Any crimes that he committed while we lived together, I was charged with. Um, the reason I made this film and the reason I fought for her was because I didn't think that her sentence was fair. She received 15 years for a first time nonviolent offense for basically knowing about a crime, you know, so that didn't sit well with me and I wanted to tell the story of that and, and what those sentences did to a family. By the time you were a filmmaker, right? I was not. You was. So how you feel when you know that your sister opened the door of her whole house and was taking about her family away and you couldn't do anything? Yeah, you know, it, it's, it, it, it hurts to feel helpless and, and hopeless sometimes, but, uh, you know, I, I had to figure out a way to fight and ultimately the way I, I decided to fight was through filmmaking and through advocacy. I'm writing a story right now about how child abuse is connecting to the future of the child. Mm -hmm. And I want to know, I want the people without the room and think what I'm doing with my child. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I saw your documentary, I saw the, thing, the same message. What am I doing when we separate the people or when we separate mothers for the child? What is the message you want to send the people? Yeah, I mean, one of the messages uh, when you're talking about uh, children uh, wrapped up in this is, you know, I, I say it in the film, you know, it's 15 years on paper, but this is affecting their entire life. You know, it, we have to take that in, into consideration when we're giving these sentences, especially to mothers with young children. You know, these children are the people who are truly going to be affected. My youngest niece um, was six weeks old when her mother went away. You know, she spent her entire young childhood without a mom and that's going to affect her for the rest of her life. We don't even know yet how that's going to affect her. We're going to be there and we're going to love her and we're going to support her, but, you know. Nobody knows what she wants to when her mother wasn't, wasn't there on her birthday, exactly. when her mother wasn't there for the recitals. Yeah. So what, you, what your sister told you when she saw the documentary, when she saw your kid talking by her phone to her? It, it was very difficult for her to watch, but ultimately she, she's very proud of it because she knows that hopefully um, it's going to help other people and I think hopefully it's going to be part of the healing process for the girls. You know, they're lucky in the sense that in, in five or ten years when they're dealing with different issues and they're dealing of, of issues of, of abandonment, all those things, they have this archive that they can go and watch and understand that their mom didn't want to be away from them, that their mom was away from them for something that she couldn't control and it was something that was unjust. So hopefully that, that becomes a part of the healing process of them knowing that their mom wanted nothing more than to be with them. And, and, and they can witness firsthand that even though their mother was away, they were su still surrounded by love, surrounded by support, and, and, and they were the center of everyone's universe during this process. So I, I hope that it acts as both um, something that they can realize helps other people, but will one day help themselves. I want to say hi to everyone at Top Turning Magazine. I hope you tune in to uh, watch The Sentence on HBO on October 15th and HBO Latino. Um, you know, it's a story about a family, and, and, and I hope you, you see your family and my family. I carry your heart, right? Mm-hmm, and I, I carry your heart.